Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Technical Portal YouTube channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel Lookup series that is running into my channel. So friends, today in this video we are going to look up a the formula that where we are going to nest index function with the sum function and get a result thoroughly. So here in this database you can find that I have a column that calls name and the amount of each month. So here we are going to get the result by just putting the month here and the total amount will be calculated automatically, right? To sum all the values in a column or row, you can use the index function to retrieve the values and the sum function to return the sum. This technique is useful in situation where the rows or column being summed is dynamic and changes based on user input. So let's check how this formula actually will work. So at first we need to enter any number of our month here and here we are going to actually input the column number into this month cell. So at first let's type the formula into the H6 cell where we actually want to get our result. The formula will be like this equals to then use the sum function at first then we are going to use the index function as a nested form in this formula. So type index now. Now here in the index function it is asking for an array and what our array will be our array will be from here where our actual data is present so in my case the data is present from c5 to e9 table right note that you do not need to select these cells as the headers right then put a comma now it is asking for row number we are just simply not adding the row so we are putting number as 0 put a comma again now in the column number we are going to add the number as into this cell right that is the h5 cell you can look at here h5 so here the formula actually completes now close the brackets and hit enter look at here it has been actually calculated the whole number of this table array and if I want to calculate the number or amount of month January I am just putting the number 1 look at here what happens the total amount has been calculated of only January column right look at here 2150 and 2150 that means it is actually correct and if we put number 2 here it will show you the result accordingly right so here in this example we need to supply the named range as C5 to E9 for the array function and we need to pick up the column number from H5 cell, right? For row number you can see that we have deliberately supplied 0. This causes index to retrieve all values in column number 2 of the data that is from C5 to E9. The index function has a special and non-obvious behavior when the row number argument is supplied as 0 or null. Index retrieve all values in the column referenced by the column number argument. Likewise, when the column number is supplied as 0 or nothing index retrieves all values in the row referenced by the row number argument right look at here if you just want to calculate the row numbers you need to select h5 here I'm just changing some data here and the column number will be 0 right so in this case the row number 2 will be calculated automatically right look at here this is our row number 2 in this table and if you see that 1700 is actually correct in this case so you can use the same approach for the other calculations by replacing sum with average max minimum etc as well as you require in your function 
So that's all for today friends. Hopefully you like this video. I'll come back soon with another interesting video. I'll give you the link of downloading this excel file into my description box. Please check that. Till then keep learning, keep supporting this channel and obviously keep practicing.